testing Maryland's had ranked since 2013? Uh, it feels good. It's just, you know, we're not really concerned about it, though. We're just trying to, you know, focus on Temple, focus on the, uh, today practice, and, um, you know, just focus on getting better each day. We talked about everyone else. Um, you know, for, for you, you know, after playing just five games last year, Kind of, kind of an up and down getting back into the program. Um, what has it been like for you to, to be productive these first two games? Uh, it's been great, man. Um, you know, just to be out there with my teammates and uh, doing whatever I, I can for the team. Um, you know, it feels great. You know, it's just a great group of guys um, on the defensive side of the ball, every side of the ball, really. And um, I'm just um, glad to be a part of. It. Marcus, uh, coach has talked about the, how the communication needs to pick up in the secondary a little bit. What specifically? Are you seeing back there, and you know what do you feel that needs to improve in the secondary so far? Uh, I think we're doing a really good job. I think it's you know a couple of things we just gotta um, you know kind of lock in on like communication and things like that. You know pre-snap communication and things like that. But for the most part, I think we're doing a really good job. We gave up 20 points in two games. Um, you know, obviously you're gonna give up balls. That, you know, the scheme we play, a lot of man coverage. You're gonna give up a couple balls. So um, you know, we're not really worried about that. It's just. Um, which is not going to ever break, you know, the defense. So um, I think I think we're doing good, though. I noticed that you do line up right on the opposing wide receivers. Is there a lot of talking going on between you and your opponent? Yeah, sometimes. But, you know, we try not to talk, you know, as a team. We try to just go out and, and do our job. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, guys going to talk. You know, that's a part of the game. But uh, at the end of the day, you can't lose focus on your assignment. So, um, you know, we just try to stay focused. <laughs> This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. When later in the Syracuse game, it sort of looked like they ran out of gas. Could you tell that that feeling come across? Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it definitely did. You could see it. Um, you know, you could you could just see, you know, that um, we kind of made them quit a little bit and. Uh, you know, it felt good, you know what I'm saying, just knowing all the work we put in during the week, all the work we put in all summer and spring, um, that it's finally paying off. What are you worried about with, <clears throat> not that you're worried, but what are your concerns with Temple coming up? Uh, not really concerned. Um, you know, they, they a lot of 10 personnel, a lot of 11 personnel. Um, they're going to spread the ball out. They're going to throw the ball around. So um, I'm not really concerned. I, I think if we play with our rules, we play with our, um, our eyes, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. As a defense, as an offense, I think we'll be good. Jumped in late, Anthony Russo last year dialed up some big plays in the win here for Temple. He threw for over 400 yards in the opener. What uh, jumps off the tape when you look at him as a quarterback? What concerns you? What he does? Uh, he can make all the throws. Um, so far, what I've seen from him on film, I mean, he, he can throw out route, you know, uh, to the field from the opposite hash. Um, you know, he uh, he's not very mobile in the pocket, but he, he can make all the throws, man. He's got a big arm. And uh, I think we got to contain him um, and uh, just go out and make plays.